Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today's video, we are going to be completely redoing my husband's office. So I'm sorry if it's a little echoey. I'm in my husband's office right now and there's not a whole lot in here. Um, when we moved in, we kind of just threw everything in here, uh, bought a quick little cheap desk to work in the interim until we got this actually all outfitted and working for him. So I'll show you what it looks like now. It's a complete mess and hopefully by the end of the vi video we'll have it looking nice and like a proper office. So here is the current setup. I told you it's a little bit of a mess. So um, I, we bought a card table. I can't even remember why. Oh, you know what? It was because we needed chairs. If you see my video um, where I was furniture shopping before, we needed chairs for some guests <laughs> to come over and it was actually cheapest to buy it in a card table setup and we just, kept the table and used it to put stuff on until we actually have a desk and stuff in here. So that's that it's, you know, this desk is from Walmart. I think we got it for like 40 bucks. Um, I might keep it and use it as like my little corner for, um, like household paperwork and that kind of stuff. But, um, this is what we're looking to replace today. My husband needs a way bigger desk because he really likes to have a setup with like his monitor and two laptops and obviously then like all this stuff. And anyway, he just needs way more space. I've got some stuff for the walls like that. I also have some more wall decor in the closet, but I just haven't hung any of it because I don't know how I'm going to arrange all this. Um, we do have a whiteboard up there, but we might end up moving that. We'll see. And then I need a bookshelf for all these books. So I'm gonna head out to my car, completely empty out my car, lay all the seats down because I'm gonna go to Ikea and hopefully get several things. That's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna go to Ikea and hopefully outfit this whole place. big old bag of goods here from Ikea and I thought I would just show you a quick haul of some of the little stuff I got and then we'll get into the desk components. Um, first of all, this is a big curtain rod. Um, I hope, I hope I got the right length. We'll see in a second, but, um, got a curtain rod and then I got all of the little like accessories to hang the curtain rod. So that's what all of these are. And then I got a pillow. This was like a super cheap, I think like two or $3 pillow. And the reason I got it is Brian and I have this one pillow that is super like squishy and it's like this cheap pillow, but it's so comfortable just to like hold and squeeze and we both fight over it. And this is the closest thing I've ever felt to that kind of pillow. So I bought it so that we could have another like soft squishy pillow that's just like oh, feel good for hugging. Oh, this is like the end parts of the curtain rod. I've got those. I just got the really simple ones. I originally had grabbed the bigger like spheres that can go on either side, but then as I was looking around the store, all the curtain rods in the store just had the little ones and I kind of just preferred the more simple look. So that's what I got for those. For the curtains, I got these kind of like mint green curtains. I had originally picked out gray curtains. And then again, as I was walking through the store, I saw a display that had these mint green curtains. And I just liked the way it looked so much. And I still think I can make this room look fairly masculine, even though I have these like kind of more feminine, light, bright curtains. But um, they're like, they're not completely blackout curtains, but they're pretty thick, so they'll block out a lot of light if he needs them, um, if he needs the sun like blocked out. It gets really, really bright in here in the morning. The sun rises like right in front of this window. So um, got these. And then the last little thing I got was just this little milk frother. I think I already showed you this in the store, but it's literally $1.99 and I have been looking for one of these. These are like, I think $12 or so on Amazon and literally $1.99. I mean, granted this is probably pretty cheap and may not last all that long, but still for $1.99, not bad at all. And Brian and I both love like cafe au lait and lattes and stuff like that. So I'll be using that, using this for that. Of 
course, since this is Ikea furniture, it has to all be assembled. So I'm just building it here. I literally have this footage sped up 30 times the speed because I didn't want to bore you to death with how long it takes to assemble furniture, but it's actually pretty easy. The instructions are always really clear from Ikea anyway, and I don't mind it. I actually kind of enjoy assembling furniture. I find it really satisfying and I'll usually turn on like an audiobook or a video on my phone or something that I can listen to while I do it and just kind of, I don't know, chill out and enjoy it. I really don't mind assembling furniture at all. Comment down below and let me know who the furniture assembler is in your relationship. In our relationship, it's definitely me because my husband, while well, he certainly could do it, he hates doing it and like I said, I don't really mind, so I'm happy to do it. Another day, another box from Ikea. This one's gonna be a bookshelf. It's going to go right here and let's assemble it. Obviously I still need to fill up some of the shelves and style this and stuff, but we've got to start. So these drawers from Ikea, I don't know if I really explained myself, but these are going to be the base to the desk. And so I got these little risers. They're actually made for a bed, like they're bed risers, but I'm using them as risers for the desk. I'm gonna drill them into this drawer and then um, they'll lift up the top, the tabletop a little bit higher since my husband's tall. He needed it to be just a little bit higher than it would be if I just sat the tabletop directly on the drawer itself. So I just like used a nail to kind of make a little pilot hole and then screwed in the actual screws. I was struggling a little bit with getting the screw or the drill to screw in the screws all the way. So I had to use a regular screwdriver for part of it until my husband kind of rigged together a little extension for the drill, which was so helpful. It has been several weeks. This room is finally complete. So let me show it to you. So that's pretty much the room. I'm gonna walk you around now and kind of tell you like where I got everything from. That way if you want anything you see here, you'll know where it's from. We'll start with the bookcase. Most of the things on here are things that I already had aside from the plants, which I mean obviously you can go out and buy plants wherever, but um, this little hourglass thing up here is from Home Goods, And then really everything else is just plants and their pots and books that we had. All of the plant pots that you see here are things that I already had. Uh, this one I painted, as you can probably tell since it doesn't look all that good, but uh, painted that one. And then like this one is from the Target Dollar Spot last year. I don't think they have this exact kind anymore. This one is too. This one's from a local plant shop, which I think this one's really cool. 
Um, this one's also from Target, but it was last year. And then this whole thing, pot included, was from Trader Joe's, I believe. Trader Joe's sometimes has really good deals on their potted plants. Then over to the bed. This bed frame is from Wayfair, and as you guys saw, it pulls out to where you can put another twin mattress next to it and have a king size bed. I got this bed frame from Wayfair, however, Ikea has one that's very similar, and I think it might be better quality because I can't necessarily vouch for the quality of this day bed. I'll show you these drawers. This one does not sit properly. See how it's like doesn't go it's supposed to like go under here like this one does and this one I cannot get it fixed so it's just the quality of this is not phenomenal but it was pretty inexpensive um, but like I said Ikea has one that's similar and it's uh, about the same price as what I paid for this then let's talk about the bedding this I got the duvet that's underneath this I think at like Tuesday morning or something but the comfort or the duvet cover is from Ikea I really liked this mint green and gray striped and that kind of is what dictated the vibe for the whole room I have uh, these curtains that are also from Ikea and they have like a I closed the curtain so hopefully you can see the fabric a little bit better it's kind of like a, a zigzag houndstooth stripe it's not showing up very well on camera but um, has a little bit of a gray stripe in through the mint green then back to the bedding this throw pillow is from home goods as is this blanket this blanket is dkny brand and it feels so amazing um, both those things are from home goods these two pieces of artwork are also from home goods i really like those a lot and then we'll go over to the other side of the room to my husband's desk so this is an ikea desk these are i believe they're called the alex drawers um i built them myself thank you very much and then i bought these little um risers on amazon uh, because the desk for my husband who is like six foot one he needed it a little bit higher so i just raised the desk up a few inches with these little these are actually um for made for a bed to like raise up a bed but anyway i bought them for myself for this project and drilled them into the top of this uh, drawer. This desktop is from Ikea. It's actually a countertop, like for your kitchen, I guess. It's actually a countertop, but I bought it for this desk. I had seen in a couple other people um, in YouTube videos that I saw that did this, and I really liked the look of it. Um, and then this lamp is from Ikea, but I feel like it doesn't look Ikea. I feel like it looks like cooler and nicer than what you typically find at Ikea. So like that a lot. And then my husband found this little book stand that he uses. He's a web developer. So a lot of times he's like referring to books and stuff to make sure he knows how to do whatever it is he's doing for work. So um, he wanted one of these. I think he found it on Amazon. If I can find it, I will link it down below for you. I think it's kind of cool. And then we have his big old office chair it's not my favorite aesthetically but because he sits in it you know nine to five monday monday through friday for the most part uh he needed something comfortable so it's actually like a gaming chair but i can vouch it is very comfortable then over here we have a second monitor and this is on what is really cool it's a mounting system but instead of uh drilling it into the wall it hooks onto the back of your desk so if you don't want to put big holes in your wall or if you're renting or whatever um, it's a really nice option to create a mounted monitor situation without having to put holes in your wall so um yeah we have his second monitor mounted here his computer and then he does use a ring light because he has to film videos sometimes and so he has that text back there so here's that final look at the desk setup I like it a lot and it seems to be functional for him. That is going to conclude this mostly Ikea room makeover. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future videos from me and I'll see you guys again in the next one. Bye.